It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Two outstanding elementary schools here today vying for the chance to get to this year's finals in our elementary competition. Let's meet the teams now. First from University Park Elementary School. Please say, please say hello to Ryan Montessi, Jesse Mainchies, and Adam Wasserman. And from Whitehall Elementary School, here she is, Cindy King, Austin King, and Ryan Westbrook. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10, then the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, we will have a competitor for Magnolia Elementary School, the winner of whom will go on to be the last of our four finalists in this year's elementary competition. So there's a lot at stake today. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. Jesse, would you try the buzzer for University Park? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Adam and to Ryan. You guys look good in your matching Science Bowl shirts over there. They say UPES Science Bowl, mad scientist. I like it. And Whitehall, Austin, would you try yours? All right. The green team's ready. Cindy, Austin, Ryan, you're looking good, too. And you're matching Whitehall Science Bowl t-shirts. The Wildcats, is that right? All right, let's have a great game. May the better team win, and congratulations for having it made, made it this far in our competition. We go alphabetically U before W. So University Park, Jesse, let's play the bowl. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, what meteorological term is the last name in the title of Margaret Mitchell's book about the Deep South? Gone with the what, University Park? Wind. Wind is right. Yep, good. Red. Uh, Dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, it wasn't the Yorkshire or the Jack Russell or the Airedale one of these that won top dog at Westminster. Jesse. Spaniel. Not a Spaniel, no. Whitehall, let me finish the question. It wasn't the Jack Russell or the Yorkshire or the Airedale kind of dog that won Westminster. It was the Scottish version. What breed am I talking about? Terrier. Scottish Terrier. Jack Russell Terrier. Airedale Terrier. Try again. Re or red, please. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams recently during a speech... Sarah Palin looked down and was reading notes on what body part? University Park. Hand, hand, hand. hand. On her hand, on her palm. That's right. There she had all of her key notes and all of her key points written. Go. Uh, zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, guinea pigs have a tough time texting because unlike primates, they do not have... University Park? Opposable thumbs. They do not have opposable thumbs. That's absolutely right. I'm just trying to imagine a guinea pig even trying. Go, red. Uh, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, the plant part that appears on the Canadian flag is University Park? It's a maple leaf. It is a maple leaf. Absolutely right. And if you've been watching the Olympics, of course, to the chagrin of the Canadians, it hasn't been waving all that much. They haven't won as many medals as they had hoped. Go, red. Let's get physical for ten. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. During the Super Bowl, there was a commercial about a boy who lived a charmed life. A fire in the kitchen broke out, and magically, a box of sodium bicarbonate dumped and put out the fire. Sodium bicarbonate is better known as what substance? So, University so Park. Baking soda. Baking soda. 
Baking soda? Baking soda, absolutely right. It just tipped over at the right time. All right, Ryan and Cindy, let's help Austin here. Let's help him out. If you got an idea, listen to the clues. Listen to the clues. Go red. Uh, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points, teams. What same word is part of a hurricane and a reproductive part? Whitehall? Eye. An eye, absolutely right. I was going to say a reproductive part of a potato. Potatoes have eyes and so do hurricanes. That's the way to do it. Welcome to the game. All right, go, Whitehall. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for? 10. 10 points. Your question is as follows. A new book called Going Bovine is about a young boy who develops kurtzfeldt jakob disease, which if it occurs in animals is known as mad what? Mad what, University Park? Cow disease. Cow, you got that right. Mad cow disease. It's a great book, too. I recommend it. Try red. Uh, body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, skater Apollo Ono just went through a severe exercise routine. He is no longer chunky. He's lean. He brags that he is only 2.8% body what? Whitehall. Fat. Fat, that's right. He is as lean as can be. Good answer. Go green. Green things for 10. Green, Green things, things for 10 points. Seems your question is, the New Orleans Saints football team's logo on their helmet and on their jerseys is the Fleur de Lis, which is the French way. Whitehall? Corn. What? Corn. Again? Corn. Corn, are you saying? Not corn, no. University Park Fleur de Lis is the French way of describing what reproductive part on a plant. Pistol? Mm, no, the flower. The flower. The flower. Fleur. Fleur de lis. The flower of the iris or the lily. Try again, please. Green. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, what same word means the liquid part of the blood, a kind of television screen, and University Park. Plasma. Absolutely right. Also a form of uh, uh, solid liquid or gas, a, a kind of matter, a form of matter. Good. Red. Dateline signs for 10, please. Dateline for 10. Teams, smoking used to be public enemy number one. Now, because so many young people are developing obesity because they're drinking 50 gallons of this stuff every year. University Park. Soda. Soda is now public enemy number one, and some people are proposing special taxes on it to reduce the consumption. All right, the buzzer is rung. We've come to the end of the first round. University Park 110. Fast start for you guys. Whitehall 65. Let's get them in a second round. We'll be back in a minute. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We have six outstanding young people playing our game today. They've been fist bumping and high fiving over there and recalibrating their strategy. We're going to have a great second round. Let's find out about our players. Let's go first to University Park, all of whom have never been here before. Nice to welcome you to our program for the very first time. University Park, as some of you may know, who have been following us for our 24 years here on the air has won the championship more than any other elementary school. And I know you'd like to add to your tally this year. Jesse, tell us about University Park. Who's your principal? Um, Mrs. Schickner. Yes, and is out there rooting for you. And Mr. Jeff Favero, who is a great sponsor, a great teacher and educator. He's been sponsoring the University Park team for years and is responsible for those great shirts that they're wearing over there. They're matching science ball shirts. And Jesse, there were some alternates on your team. Who are they? Clara Jensen and Catherine Katakalos. Wonderful, and we'll bring them out to join Mr. Favero in just a few moments here. Jesse, tell me uh, what you see yourself doing someday. Uh, I'd like to be a photographer. Photographer. And you told me you have, uh, is it a Minolta? It's an Olympus camera. An Olympus camera, absolutely. What kind of pictures would you like to take? Um, I'd like to take pictures of just scenes and nature and things, not necessarily portraits. I understand, yeah. Do you get uh, National Geographic magazine? Or Smithsonian, boy, those I get those just for the photographs, and they're just uh, they're just amazing. So good luck to you, Adam. Nice to have you here. Yep. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Why would you want to be on the science ball? Uh, well, actually, my brothers competed in a uh, academic game show called It's Academic. I know you uh, host that in Baltimore. I do indeed. Yes. Um, what school does he attend? St. Anthony's. Very good. All right. Maybe you can follow in his footsteps, mm -hmm. Adam. Tell me what you want to do someday. I'd like to be an architect or an engineer. Yeah, we were talking earlier, and you have your eye on maybe some kind of monumental building. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Have you already 
come up with some drawings of things that you'd like to see happen someday? Uh, well, I, my brother and I have been building with Legos for a while. Maybe we would get our inspiration from that, but uh, not quite. No, I think, and that's exactly what I was hinting at there, that you probably uh, had some ideas already of what you might want to see. All right, good luck to you. And Ryan, nice to have you with us today. Young man is a musician. You play the violin and the piano. Is that right? Wonderful. And what do you want to do someday, Ryan? Well, um, I'm not really quite sure. Yeah. That's right, because you told me whatever you want to do, you want to be the best at it, and you want to get an award for it. Is that right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong. This is, this is the American dream, Ryan. There's no apologies for that. You're, uh, you're a fine young man, and I know you're going to succeed at whatever you want. Nice to have you on the show. Whitehall, nice to have you guys back again. University Park did so well last year. They got a bye in the competition. You've already won twice. This is your third appearance and the first year ever that Whitehall has appeared on our program because Whitehall has just been a school for the past couple of years, right? For a lot of years, it was decommissioned, as it were. Who is your principal, Austin? Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell. And he is here today and will be out in just a few moments to join you all. And Mr. Andrew Carnes is your wonderful sponsor. He's been here to help us judge other science bowls. And he is just, he's into this. He is just a great cheerleader for you guys. I love your shirts over there, too. Tell me, Austin, any alternates on your team? I have Evan Hansen and John Lewis. Wonderful. We'll meet them in just a few moments along with Mr. Carnes. Tell me about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? I read a lot. Yeah, and you re really live and breathe soccer, don't you? Yeah. Do you, what team do you play for, Austin? I don't play right now, but mm. I played for the Bowie Boys and Girls Club. Very good. And you'd like to be a professional soccer player someday, wouldn't you? That's great. And Ryan, you would like to be in Major League Baseball. What's your favorite team? The Orioles. The Orioles, all right. And you play second base, do you? For a team in, in Bowie there? And uh, why do you want to be on the science board? Because you do so well. Uh, I'd like to be on it because I want to extend my knowledge about science, and I just love science. Uh, boy, that's what I like to hear, and you're a good representative of a, of a good student, Ryan. Cindy, nice to have you here. Young lady who aspires to be an author, and you've already written, what was that book that you wrote about a mysterious lady, was it? It was, um, I'm writing Little Miss Mysterious. That's it, Little Miss Mysterious. I really like that title. What's it about? Okay, it's about these two kids. And their cousin comes over and tells, tells them about this haunted house with a witch in it. Mm -hmm. Well, they go inside because she dared them to. And they hear a weird knocking noise and they're scared out of their wits. That's and they find a woman in the mirror. This is a perfect tease, isn't it, judges? Don't you want to read this book? You're a great young lady. Nice to have you with us today, Cindy. Keep up your good work. Let's get back to the game. University Park 110, Whitehall 65. All of the high point value questions are left. Still anybody's game. Last correct answer, red. So, Jesse, start us out. Super 8 for 15? Super 8 for 15 points. Teams, in the movie District 9, human beings morphed into arthropods. Did they become shrimp, lizards, or University Park? Prawns. Prawns or shrimp. Absolutely right. Uh, not the mole rats or the lizards, but rather the shrimp or the prawns. Go, University Park. Uh, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the Olympic bronze medal isn't all that bronze. There's a little bit of zinc in it, but it's mostly made up of the chemical element CU that we associate with University Park. It's copper. Copper? Copper, that's right. I was going to say normally we associate it with pennies, and you didn't even need that to get that correct answer. Nicely done. Red. Uh, body systems for 15, please. 15 points in body systems. Teams, if you're su suffering from carotidinia, you have problems with your throat, you have problems with your ear, with your carotid artery. Literally, you've got a pain in your what? A pain in your what, University Park? Neck. In your neck. That's absolutely right. Good. Rid. Uh, let's get physical for 20, please. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, what season occurs between the vernal equinox and the summer solstice? University Park. Spring. Spring. Absolutely right. Good. Go. Zoo Parade for 20, please. Zoo Parade, 20 points. Teams, William Harvey discovered circulation by looking through a microscope at the tail of this fish, a fish that today, yes, Whitehall. Flounder. Flounder. Not a flounder. University Park, William Harvey looked through the microscope. He looked at the tail of this fish and discovered for circulation for the first time. It is a fish today that most people associate with Pepperidge Farm crackers. 
Goldfish. Goldfish, absolutely right. Good. Red. Dateline signs for 15, please. Dateline for 15 points. Who knew? Recent evidence says that King Tut actually died from this disease carried by Anopheles mosquitoes. <laughs> University Park. West Nile. Uh, yeah. West Nile. Not West Nile. Good try. Whitehall. King Tut apparently died from complications of the disease that's carried by Anopheles mosquitoes. What's that disease? Yellow fever. Good try. Malaria. Malaria was the right answer. Go red. Signs potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams in the Summer Olympics, there's an event called the Decathlon. Ten successive challenges. But in the Winter Olympics, where they shoot and ski, it's not the Decathlon. What's it called, UP? Biathlon. Biathlon for two events instead of ten. That's it. Go red. Um, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical. 25, the big one in that category, teams. The man-made substance Teflon that we find on cooking utensils and on skis is said to be hydrophobic. Meaning what? Meaning what, University Park? Afraid of water. All right, we'll put it in context. Um, it, it, uh, it resists water. It's resistant to water, like if, if you ran into slush when you were skiing, it would be resistant to Absolutely water. right. Resistant to water or water beating up on it. That's what I wanted to hear. Nicely done, guys. Thank you for helping him out. Come on, Cindy and Ryan, don't give up on me. Let's help Austin out over there. Let's get some points. Come on, Jesse. Green things for 15, please. Green things, 15 points. Teams, the Department of the Interior has brought back Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear still says only you can prevent what kinds of fires. What kinds of fires, Whitehall? Wildfires. Wildfires, absolutely. And that's the new slogan. It used to be forest fires. It's now wildfires. You get my commendation for that. Go, green. Zupre, 25. Zupre, 25 points. Teams, tough question. Teams, what kind of P-initialed creature is a plant if it's algae, but is an animal if it's protozoa? University Park? Pond water organisms. Uh, pond water organisms. Pond water organisms, not quite. Whitehall, what kind of P-initialed creatures are plants if they're algae, but are animals if they're protozoans and small crustaceans, and they live by the billions in the sea? Plankton. Plankton is right for 25 points. The meanie on SpongeBob, got it, green, go. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points, teams. In Yellowstone National Park, many of the trees are dying because Yellowstone is seismically active and the magma is literally cooking what parts of the tree? University Park. The roots. The roots, absolutely right. It's so hot down below that the roots are literally boiling. Red. Body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points, teams. There are famous tunnels. The Holland Tunnel goes into New York City. The Channel Tunnel Tunnel goes from England to France. Where would you find the Carpal Tunnel? Where is the Carpal Tunnel, University Park? Your wrist. In your wrist, absolutely right. Good, go. Signs potpourri for 20, please. Potpourri for 20 points. A math question. Listen carefully. The world record for sitting in a 230 degree Fahrenheit sauna is three minutes. That's a long time because 230 degrees Fahrenheit is how many degrees above the boiling point of water? <laughs> University Park. No, 112 is the boiling point. Oh, so that would be eight. And 58 degrees? Not quite. Whitehall, 230 degrees Fahrenheit, that's the temperature in the sauna where the record was set, is how many degrees above the boiling point of water? 220. The boiling point of water is 212. 212 from 230 is 18 degrees. No points. Red. Body systems for 25, please. Body systems for 25 points, teams. Congressman John Murtha died recently after entering a hospital and having surgery on this small green gland that stores bile juice. 25 points if you can tell me, UP. Gallbladder. Got it. Good. Go. Dateline signs for 20, please. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, this is strange but true. The new science of synthetic biology is creating new creatures. Scientists have recently taken this Y-initialed organism that we normally associate with raising dough and now put it onto computer screens because it conducts electricity. Austin. Yeast. Yeast is right. Good. Go. Green things for 25. Green things for 25. The big one in that category, teams. If you put 
a ring and a wire on a young tree to keep it growing straight. It may turn out to be a tourniquet because it could, off, could cut off the circulation of what V initial system in the plant. University Park. Vascular. Vascular. That's what I want to hear. Two questions left. Where? Uh, Dateline Science for 25, please. Dateline for 25 points, teams. It could be argued that eagles and ospreys and pelicans are alive today and not extinct because of the eradication of which of the following pesticides? BEA. <laughs> University Park. DDT. DDT. DDT is right. Absolutely right. Potpourri for 25, the last one in the category, the last one in the game. Today, scientists are cataloging their data online in what kind of W-initialed files, the most famous of which is the online encyclopedia. Whitehall. Webster. Webster. Not Webster. Good try. University Park, the W initialed file that is famous as the online encyclopedia. Wikipedia. Wikipedia, a wiki. Absolutely right. And with that, our game is over. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Ball. What a game we had here today. I dare say you probably had a tough time keeping up with these six young people. They were that sharp. They were that bright. We're proud of each and every one of them. Our final score today is Whitehall 125, University Park 375. The guys, the black, the men in black over here, they did it. Ryan and Jesse and Adam, congratulations. Mr. Favero, I know how happy you are back there. And we've got Clara back there. And also our all other alternate, we've got Clara and Catherine. Nice to have you with us today. We'll see you in the next round. Maybe another championship. Whitehall for the first year, what a debut you had. Three times on Science Bowl, Cindy and Austin and Ryan, you never gave up. You played a beautiful game today and all the alternates back there say hello to Evan and John and Andre and Darby Mr. Carnes the best cheerleader ever wearing the same shirt Mr. Campbell you need one too Mr. Jarens Campbell ladies and gentlemen the principal at Whitehall thank you for joining us today thank you all for tuning in we'll see you next time on Science Bowl bye-bye now <laughs>